Can I put my rocket on the train set, Dad? Sure, anywhere you like. Hey, that looks good, Justin. Let's make the trains go. Okay, all aboard. Woo woo! <laughs> wow, so many buttons. Can I press one? Hold on, Justin. Don't touch anything unless you know what it does. Oh, hey, that must be the delivery I'm waiting for. Remember, no touching till I get back. Okay, Dad. Huh? <gasps> Must press Blinky buttons! We're not supposed to touch anything, Squidgy. But they look so cool! Like the controls of a space rocket! <laughs> Prepare for blast-off. Ready for blast-off, Squidgy? 30, 30 seconds, seconds to blast-off. 30 seconds? Wait, where's Olive? I'm right here, guys. <laughs> Where? Right here. Welcome to Cape Canaveral, Commander Justin. Hi, co-pilot Squidgy. <laughs> what are you doing squished into that box? I'm not in the rocket, Squidgy. I'm over here at Mission Control. Look out your window. I'll be right here all through the rescue mission. Rescue mission? Yes. You're going to the moon to rescue Major Chuck. The moon? I've always wanted to go to the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Hey, why six, is that guy counting backwards? Five, That's your countdown, Squidgy. Fasten three, your seatbelts and get ready for blast off. One. Sure are a lot of buttons and thingamajigs. Can I press one, Olive? Not yet, Justin. Don't touch anything until I tell you. Especially that big red button. Oh. Okay, Olive. How do we find the astronaut, Olive? Major Chuck is near the moon. You should see his rocket quite soon. What happened? He lost all power and can't get back to Earth. Oh, poor Major Chuck. Don't worry, Squidgy. We'll save him. And don't forget, do not touch the big red button. Okay, Olive. We won't touch anything unless you tell us. Especially the big red button. What do you think it does, Squidgy? It glows. <laughs> I know it glows. I mean, when you press it. Oh, no. Mission Control, what's happening? Asteroid approaching. <gasps> Asteroid? Who's that? Not who, Squidgy. What? A big space rock is heading right for you. Asteroid! Ah! It's humongous! Honk the horn! I want you to press the purple button, please. The purple button! Hey! We get to press a button! Did you hear that, Justin? The purple button! The purple button! Everything's fine. I'm just kind of hungry. Me too. Where's the fridge on this thing? Let's stop for snacks. Engines off. Ah, uh, okay. But which button do I press? Press the orange button, Justin. Check. Engines are off. Okay, Olive. Now, how do we get our snacks? Press the yellow button, Justin. Ah, right here. <gasps> Carrots! Oh, and juice! Awesome! Wow! They're floating! In space, everything floats. Squidgy, I can float! <laughs> I can float too! You always float, Squidgy. Oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Major Chuck. He says he's very happy to see us. I bet he is. He's been stuck in his rocket and couldn't get back to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you home, little guy. <laughs> okay, we are buckled up and ready to go. <laughs> hey, everyone. Now that the mission's over, we can find out what the big red button does. <laughs> Oops. I think I turned off the spaceship. What? Oh, no. Really? What's he saying, Squidgy? Um, he says the same thing happened to him. He pressed the red button and everything turned off. That means we're stuck here? Just like Major Chuck was? Don't worry, guys. There is a way to restart the rocket. There is? Phew. But you'll need Major Chuck's help. Put your space helmets on. You're going on a spacewalk. Can you hear me, Olive? Loud and clear, Justin. Okay, how do we turn this thing back on? There's a panel near the back. You need to open it. Okay, heading to the panel now. Got it open. Now what? Can you see the two green buttons? Yes, I see them. You and Major Chuck need to push them at the same time. That'll turn everything back on. Okay. Ready, Chuck? <laughs> Countdown. Three, two, one, press! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you did it! Okay, Earth, here we come. Great work, team. Thanks, Thanks Olive. Olive. Does everyone have their seat belts on? Check! Check. <laughs> it looks like Major Chuck is having some seatbelt problems. <laughs> I'll help him, Olive. <laughs> and we're all ready to go, Olive. <laughs> okay, let's get you guys home. Roger that. Commander Justin, please push the white button. You bet, Olive. Touch any buttons, Justin? Not any of these. Only on my rocket. Good. And guess what? That was the delivery I was waiting for. Ta-da! It's your first train. That's for me? Wow! <laughs> 
now we can push some buttons. Yeah! All right. You see that green one? Mm -hmm. Give it a push. Pushing green button now. Cool. Look at it go. <laughs> <laughs> Approaching our target. Switching on rockets. In three, two, one. Way to go, Justin! Wow, I've never been on the moon before. Come on, Squidgy. Let's go for a moonwalk. Justin, dinner's ready. Can you please help set the table? Sure, Mom. I'll be right down. Aww, we have to stop playing. Well, I guess we could do a quick moonwalk first. It's a lot of fun to walk on the moon. And you can jump really high. Really? As high as a moon rock? Higher than a moon rock, Squidgy. As high as the stars! <laughs> moon Explorer Justin and Moon Explorer Squidgy are ready to explore! Greetings, fellow Earthlings. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the moon. Whoa! Nice jump, Olive. How did you do that? It's easy. There's less gravity on the moon. What gravity? Gravity is what makes things fall to the ground. There's less of it here than on the Earth. Oh, I see. That makes everything on the moon lighter. So I can do this! Whee! The moon is super bouncy! It's like a giant trampoline! <laughs> Attention, Olive! Who said that? This is Stanley, my supercomputer. Hello, Justin. Hello, Squidgy. Hi, Stanley! Olive, don't forget, we must find Kobe. Thanks, Stanley. Kobe is my puppy. <gasps> A space puppy? Yep, he's also my co-pilot. I've been calling him on my radio, but he isn't responding. Without Kobe, we can't blast off. You can't blast off? Why not? Kobe must press the special launch buttons. Time is ticking. Time for what, Olive? Dinner time, Justin. Back on Earth. We need to launch at exactly the right time. And blast off must happen when Earth reaches position. If we don't find Kobe soon, we won't make it home in time for dinner. Finding your pup sounds like a job for Moon Explorer Justin! And Moon Explorer Squidgy! Great! Follow me! So, what happened to Kobe? Is he lost? I think he might be playing hide and seek. Well, the moon looks like a good place to play hide and seek. Finding him could take a very, very, very long time. And that's why I have my Moonmobile! Wow! It's specially designed to drive on the moon. Moon wheels! Awesome! Here, let me show you. Can I drive? Okay, Justin, I'll navigate. Squidgy, you go up ahead and be the lookout. Hey, okay Justin! Please keep your hands and feet inside the Moonmobile at all times. All right! Let's roll! I wonder where Kobe's hiding. Kobe! Don't worry, Olive. We'll find him. See anything, Squishy? No. No. Uh-uh. And... <gasps> what? Ah-ha! Puppy paw prints! Kobe went that way! Keep following those paw prints, Squidgy. Right! Boy, driving on the moon sure is bumpy. Excuse me, Olive, we should really find...
Justin, I've got an idea. Me too, Olive. Super humongous moonmobile crater jump! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Squidgy, I think you're gonna want to strap in for this one. Stanley, engage the rover arm. Okay, everybody, hang on tight. jump back on Earth. Yeah, that was amazing. Too bad Kobe wasn't here. He would have loved this. <gasps> oh, no. Kobe! <laughs> we were having so much fun, we forgot about finding him. And we lost track of his paw prints. Warning, <gasps> the Earth is almost in blast-off position. Oh, no, we're running out of time. All right, everyone, we can play later. But first, we've got a job to do. Let's find Kobe! But I don't see his paw prints anywhere. We need to get up high and look around. I know the perfect spot, Justin. Mount Look Around. Perfect. Let's roll. Whoa! Mount Look Around is huge! It's like a giant roller coaster. Warning! Warning! Must find Kobe. You're right, Stanley. We have to find him now. Okay, everybody. Let's be on the lookout for Kobe. Huh? <gasps> oh, I think that's him! <laughs> yep, that's Kobe. Now we have to catch him. Hang on! Time for blast off. Don't worry, Olive. We'll catch up. But how? Kobe still thinks we're playing a game, Justin. A game? That's it, Squidgy. Negative. No more games. It's okay, Stanley. Olive, I need to borrow the Moonmobile steering wheel. Justin to Kobe. Justin to Kobe. Want to play? <laughs> Go fetch. <laughs> Great catch, Kobe! Now bring it back! We did it! Good boy! Warning! Must start countdown to blast off! But the moon lander is too far away! We can still make it in time. Kobe just gave me an idea. Hang on, everybody! Ten. Super humongous moon mountain! Nine. Nine. Okay, Kobe, you've got a job to do. Blast off! That was fun. Justin! Uh-oh, we forgot about Mom. Come on, Squidgy. Moon Explorer Squidgy, I've got a job to do. We'll play later. <laughs> yes! 
Sorry, Mom. I was having so much fun, I lost track of time. No problem, sweetie. But you better hurry. Dinner's almost ready. Space Explorer Justin zooms down from orbit in his flying saucer. A perfect landing on planet dinner table. Roger that. Tricky train track. Chugga 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 choo choo! Oh, can I ride Justin? You bet, Squidgy. All aboard the Justin Express! <laughs> hey, the lights just went out. Are you okay, Justin? I'm fine, Mom. I'm not scared of the dark. Oh, good. The lights might be out for a while, though. Good thing we've got these candles. Can you bring them to the living room for me? Okay. Thanks, honey. Here, why don't you take this? I'll be in in a minute. Come on, Squidgy. We've got a special delivery to make, and nothing's gonna stop us! <laughs> Hey, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to India. Wow! Is this your train, Olive? It is. I'm a conductor, and we're taking this cargo all the way up this big mountain to the town of Darjeeling. Wow! What's going on up there? Tonight is Diwali, the Festival of Lights. We love festivals! festivals. And lights! Well, Diwali's the best. It starts tonight, so we need to make our deliveries before the sun sets. But here's the thing. I don't have a driver for today. We're train drivers! Maybe we can help? That's great! Diwali can't start until we make these deliveries, so we better get going. No problemo. We'll make it in no time. Come on! But be careful. This mountain is steep, and it can get tricky. No problem, Olive. Driving trains is easy. Not even that giant boulder can stop Justin. Giant, giant boulder? boulder? Whoa, hit the brakes! Whoa, this boulder is huge! Heavy! Ugh. Oh no, we have deliveries to make. Don't worry, Olive. We'll think of something. Hey, maybe we could use that pointy thing to push this boulder. The cow catcher? Good idea, Justin. We're catching a cow? Oh, I've always wanted my own cow. And I, wait, what about the boulder? <laughs> no, Squidgy. It's just called a cow catcher. We use it to push things off the track. Oh, yes. <laughs> I knew that. Come on, we're not going to let this big boulder stop us. Justin, we just need to pull over to that other track. Got it! Um, how do we turn, Olive? We just need to flip that switch up ahead. Oh, I can do that! <laughs> switch is flipped! Okay, we're pulling into the station. You can stop here, Justin. I'll go detach the boxcar. broken bridge stop us. We'll just have to fix it. I know. We'll use this crane. 
Right. We have new tracks on the cargo car, too. I'll take care of this, Olive. Okay. Lowering the hook. Nothing's going to stop us, remember? But we're still only halfway around the twisty, curvy loop. I know. What if we make our train shorter? <gasps> we're going to shrink the train? <laughs> I think Justin means we'll leave some of the cars behind. We could leave the train back at the second station. Good idea. That'll make the train way lighter. Come on, let's go. on the main track, so we'll need to do a lot of switching. Oh, oh, I'm good at switching! Olive? Yeah, what is it? What is it? I'll show you. Ooh. These are called Dias. They're special lamps that you light just for Diwali. <gasps> and Diwali is the festival of lights. That's right. Now let's unload these Dias and help set them up. Deliver 
over the Diaz, Diwali wouldn't be the same without them. You're welcome, Olive. I knew we could do it. Justin! That's Mom. Gotta go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Justin. See you, Squidgy. Bye. Wow. Thanks for the special delivery, Justin. You're welcome. Hey, why don't we read a book until the power comes back on? Yeah! Let's read this one. Ah. The train that wouldn't give up. The Big Stone Circle. Play gym looks way better in the picture. Well, it looks okay when you tilt your head. Hmm. I was helping Dad put it together, but the legs are missing. Hmm. Where did they go? I don't know. Dad had to go back to the store to get new ones. Oh, that'll take forever! <laughs> hey, these sticks can work. Justin, you dropped your instructions. instructions. I'm an expert builder. Watch. We need to raise this ladder thingy. Hey, you're right. Now, Squidgy, you hold these sticks up. Uh-huh. And I'll lift up this ladder thingy and lower it onto your sticks. See? We don't need those missing legs. Hey, you're a pretty good builder, Justin. It's perfect! Yeah. I bet I could build anything. Small things, big things. Boats, planes. Barns, buildings. Even great, big, humongous things. Wow! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the Stone Age. Olive! The Stone Age? Wow! What are you building? Clover and I are building a stone circle. Hmm. Oh, Moody, you too. <laughs> now, here are the instructions. We need to put eight stones in a circle. Just like this. A stone circle? What's it for, Olive? For looking at stars. Oh, I like twinkly stars. Me too. So do I. And that's why I have to finish the stone circle today. Why today, Olive? It's the longest day of the year. We get to stay up late and watch the stars. We can help. Yeah, we're the fastest builders ever. Great, let's get started. I'm building a circle to look up at the stars. I'm building it with stones, but the stones are really large. They're all so very heavy. To bring them over, but I don't need to worry because I've got my best friend Clover. Nice work, Clover. That's the second stone done. Only six more to go. Six heavy stones? Yikes. That'll take forever. Hmm. Maybe there's an easier way. How? Well, do these things really need to be made out of stone? <laughs> yeah, they're really heavy, Olive. Well, these instructions say it's a stone circle. But I guess you could use something else. Just as long as we... Great! Squidgy and I will work on this half. Okay. And Clover and I will work on the other half. Oh. Let's start building! What's Olive doing over there? Hmm. Ah. She's rolling the stones on those logs. She puts a log in the front, then she runs to the back and takes one from there. And then she runs to the front and puts it down there, and then she does it all over again. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of hard work. <sighs> yes, I'm tired just talking about it. Hmm. <gasps> I know how to build our half faster, Squidgy. How, Justin? We'll use something lighter. Aha! Uh -huh. Like that straw over there. Oh, good idea, Justin. Straw is easy to carry. Exactly. Come on. Okay. 
We're helping build the circle. We're building it with straw. It's oh so light and easy, and it won't take very long. We'll help our good friend Olive. We'll build it really fast. We'll build a circle up with straw so that it will last. Ready, Clover? Oh. Add it, girl. Hi, Olive. Hi, Squidgy. Here we go. Clover, push! Oh. 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 Hi, Olive. How's it going? Okay, but it takes a long time to move these stones. Now for us, we are all done. All done? But how? We use straw. <laughs> Whoa, you guys are fast. Straw is way easier to move than those heavy stones. What a breeze. Yep, it was a breeze. No, I mean, it's a breeze. Just what we need to cool off. Oh. Ah, feels nice. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, no. What's happening? Look, my straw. It's blowing away. Oops. That straw was just too light. But I love what it's done with my hair. We need something a bit heavier than straw. Like what? Like these logs Olive was using. Come on, Squidgy. There's some more down the hill. We tried to build a circle, a circle out of straw. The wind came by and blew it down, so this time we'll use logs. They're oh so big and oh so strong as anything we found. Moving logs is easy peasy, you can roll them on the ground. Good girl, Clover. Just a little more push. Thanks for letting us use some of your logs, Olive. No problem. I had more than I needed. Perfect. One, two, three, four. We're finished our side. Raise it up, Squidgy. We've done our side too, Olive. Wow, that looks great. It was easy peasy. And fast, too. And just as strong as your stones, Olive. Huh? Ah! Justin, be careful. <gasps> Oops. Sorry, Olive. It's okay, Justin. I should have helped you move the stones from the beginning. If I'd followed the instructions, we would have been done by now. Yeah, and now we won't get to see the stars twinkle. Hmm. It's not too late, Justin. The sun is still in the sky. Remember, it's the longest day of the year. Right, and if we all work together, we can get it finished in time. Clover can help too. Oh. <laughs> this time, let's build it the right way. It's not a straw circle. It's not a log circle. It's a stone circle! Okay, everyone. This is the last stone. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! yeah! We did it! Oh. Look! The sun is setting! And there's the first star of the night. Whoa. Wow. Twinkly, sparkly stars. They're so beautiful. The stone circle is showing us all the special stars. Look. There's the Big Dipper. And the crab. Oh, and the bull. Ha! It looks just like Clover. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Justin! Hey, that's my dad. He's back. Time to go. Happy stargazing, Olive. Thanks, Justin. Bye, guys. See you next
next time. Bye, Olive. Bye, Olive. Squidgy, I need your help. What are you doing? What I should have done before. Hmm? I need you to hold these, Squidgy. Okay. Hi, Justin. I got the missing legs. Great! Now we can finish it the right way. Here, you hold this, Justin. One more to go. Yeah, and that should do it. You ready? Ready. One, two, three, heave! Well, Justin, what do you think? Wow! Cool! Come on up, Dad. You can see the stars from here. The Tower of Justin! Squidgy, I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, that's okay, Justin. What was that noise? I'm building the Tower of Justin. But it keeps falling down. The Tower of Justin? Oh, I love building things. Can I help? What's the plan? How are we going to build it? We're going to make it tall, Squidgy. Really tall. Oh, that's a great plan, Justin. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it there. And then I'll put, nope, up the top. A little more. There! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Mm. Why does it keep falling? Well, maybe there's something wrong with these blocks. You know what we need, Squidgy? Real builder stuff like drillers and movers. And pushers and lifters! Right! Then I could build a super tall tower. Higher than this room, Justin? As high as this! Welcome to New York City! Justin, look at all that construction! They sure have tall buildings here. Yep, they're so tall, they scrape the sky. So we call them skyscrapers. Skyscrapers, ooh! Let's build our own skyscraper, Olive! Great idea! We can call it the Tower of Justin. Yeah! Let's get started. Wait a second. First, you'll need these to keep you safe. Hard hats! And I've got everything else we need right over there. Whoa! Big, humongous building blocks! Super humongous! But how are we going to lift them? Easy. With these hooks and those cranes. Cranes? <gasps> Squidgy, we get to use cranes! I love cranes! Woohoo! Okay, Justin, what's the plan? To build as tall as we can! Can I use the orange crane? Sure, Squidgy. And I'll use the blue crane. And I'll take care of things here on the ground. Yes! Block number one is in position. Nice work, Justin. <laughs> yep, something's wrong with the blocks. You're right, Squidgy. The block looks tilty. Hang on. Oh, I get it. 
The blocks are okay. It's the ground that's the problem. Come over here and look. Oh, we're building on a big lumpy bump of dirt. We should have moved it out of the way first. That's a lot of dirt to move. Not if you have the right equipment. Ah! Giant dirt movers. They are called bulldozers. Squidgy, you can have... I get the orange one. I get the blue one. Let's go. I'll lift the block. All right, let's move that big lumpy bump of dirt out of the way. Wow, this is a lot of dirt. Coming back for more. Wow, this is a lot of dirt. Hmm, this big lumpy bump of dirt doesn't seem to be getting any smaller. Oh, well. Huh? huh? Hey! Squidgy! Oh, hey, Justin! What you doing? I'm moving the big lumpy bump of dirt. Hey, I'm moving the big lumpy bump of dirt, too. There sure is a lot of it, huh? Squidgy, we're just moving the same dirt back and forth. <laughs> oh! Maybe we should have planned this a little better. I think we need to move the dirt away from here. Yeah, good idea, Justin, but where? <laughs> hey, guys, just load that dirt into my dump truck. Good, good thinking, thinking, Olive! Well, that's that. Good and flat. Now we're ready. Let's get building! Right. Justin, does the tower look funny to you? It does look a little tilty, Olive. <gasps> I don't get it. We made the ground all flat. And we have all the right equipment. And these are all the right pieces. This isn't going according to plan. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to start over again. Uh, Justin, I'm getting hungry. Me too, Squidgy. I guess it's time for our... Lunch break! So, what's for lunch? We're making sandwiches. Are those pickles? I love making sandwiches. Me too. Me three! Mine will be the biggest sandwich ever! Mine will be the crunchiest sandwich ever! Oh, I love pickles! Huh? Phew. This is gonna be so yummy! There, done! Huh? Whoa! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, now that's a sandwich! Thanks! How did you make it so tall? Easy. I started with the biggest thing, and then I added the medium-sized pieces, like the meat and cheese, and then I put the smallest thing on top, like the pickle. That is the perfect place to put the pickle. Wait, Squidgy, that, that's it. That's how we're going to build it. We'll build our tower like a sandwich. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have enough pickles. <laughs> That's not what Justin means, Squidgy. I mean we should put the big pieces on the bottom, then the medium pieces in the middle, then the little ones go on top. Now that's a plan. Is everybody ready to build the Tower of Justin? Ready. Big pieces first. Got it! <laughs> are stacked in place. Great job! And now, the medium pieces. For the middle! Going up! Up, up, up! Now let's finish 
up the middle. Yeah! Some tower, Justin. Thanks, Dad. Dinner's almost ready. Make your own sandwiches. Yeah, we'll pile them high to the sky. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Come on. Wait, Justin, one last thing. The perfect place to put the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing? Mom said I could dig for berry stuff. I just can't make a mess around the flowers. Look what I found already. Whoa, is that an egg? No, Squidgy. It's a ping pong ball. Oh, cool. What else is down there? Maybe some treasure or dinosaur bones. Hey, Justin, what you doing? I'm digging for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? Really? Yeah. Grab a shovel. Oh, this big shovel will dig lots of dino bones. <clears throat> Whoa! <gasps> I found something! Hey, my old sunglasses. Oh, but they're broken. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, well. These aren't dino bones anyway. Let's keep digging. Let me get a bucket for all the bones we'll find. Be right back! <laughs> Whoa! Sammy sure is a good digger. Yeah, but he didn't dig up any dino bones. I bet we can. We'll find lots of dino bones, Squidgy. What kind of dino bones? Maybe the tooth of a giant chompasaurus. Or the foot bone of a giant stomposaurus. Or even the whole skeleton of a colossosaurus rex. <laughs> Justin, hi, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to the Flaming Cliffs of Mongolia. Cheese and crackers, it's a birthday cake for a giant. That's my yurt. It stays nice and cool in the hot desert, which is great because when I'm on a dig, it can take a really long time before I find anything. What are you digging for, Olive? Well, I'm a paleontologist. Tale of old what is it? Paleontologist, Squidgy. Someone who digs for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? Have you found any yet? Just a few small ones. But what I'm really hoping to find is the next big discovery. Colossosaurus Rex! Colossosaurus Rex! We'll help you look for it. Yeah, we're really good diggers. Great, follow me. This is my dig site. I think I'm getting really close to a major discovery. Well, what are we waiting for? Squidgy, hand me that shovel. Hold on, Justin. We have to be very careful. Using a big shovel like that might damage whatever is under there. So let's use these smaller ones instead. Okay, Olive. <gasps> you found something! Maybe it's a dino bone. Let's dig it out. Wait, Justin. Now that we've uncovered a small piece of whatever this is, 
We have to be even more careful. So how do we dig it out? We have to carefully brush away the dirt with this. A toothbrush? Did this dinosaur have cavities? Well, we still don't know if it even is a dinosaur, Squidgy. But let's find out. Are you almost done, Olive? Not quite. Okay, how about now? Not yet, Squidgy. Hmm. What is it, Olive? Did you finish? It's a... it's a... It's time to use a smaller brush. We're, We're still, still not, not done? done? Digging carefully takes a really, really long time. There's got to be a faster way. Whoa! Ah! What's all that shaking? Maybe it's a dinosaur! Ah! That's not a dinosaur, Squidgy. It's a steam shovel. <laughs> and that's Sandstone Sam. <laughs> He's a paleontologist, too. Whoa. Hey, guys! Uh, whoops. Uh. I'll be right with you. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Olive! I just got this super steam shovel, and uh, I'm just getting the hang of it. It's really fun! Hi, Sam. These are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. They're helping me dig for dinosaur bones. Oh, cool! I'm digging for dinosaur bones, too! Wow, your shovel is humongous! I bet it could dig up lots of stuff. And fast, too. Yep, I can dig up really, really big stuff! Like the biggest dino bones ever! I'm looking for Colossosaurus Rex! I heard it's somewhere close by. Oh, we're looking for it, too! Yeah, we've been digging all day. And we're about to uncover a big discovery with our brushes. Aw, those brushes are so cute! Well, good luck to you. I'm gonna go dig over here! This looks like a good spot. Wow, do you think he's really going to find it, Olive? I don't know. Digging for dinosaur bones takes a really, really, really long time. Found it! What? Colossosaurus Rex! It's huge! Wow! Uh, I, I can't believe it. Sammy's a really good pail of old what's it. I'm the greatest pail of old what's it! Now to dig out Colossosaurus Rex and take him to the museum. Where is that dirt release button? Wait, no! <gasps> oh, that's got a yurt. Whoops! Too far! Whoa! Wait, stop! Oh, oh, here it is. My dig site! Uh-oh. Sorry! I'll fix it later! I've got more digging to do! something else. showed up. Dino bone? Where? Where? It's under here. Yeah, this was my dig site, Sam. You know, before you dumped all the dirt onto it with your steam shovel. Oh, right. Sorry about that. We can start over again, but it's going to take a really, really long time to get rid of all this dirt. Uh, 
really long time? A really long time. Oh, well, better get started. Wait a minute. Sam, maybe we can use your steam shovel to help us out. I don't know, guys. Maybe that steam shovel is too big for digging up dino bones after all. Well, that's not true. There's a time and place for every tool, no matter how big or small it is. You just need to be patient and careful. I'll guide you along the way. Come on. <laughs> Colossosaurus bone. What is it? <gasps> it's even better. We found dinosaur eggs! A whole nest of them! No one's ever found anything like this before! And without your help, we wouldn't have either. Thanks, Sammy. No problem, Olive. Justin! That's my mom. It's time to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Sam. <laughs> See ya! Thanks, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. We digging, Justin? Hang on, Squidgy. I covered up Mom's flowers because I wasn't digging carefully. <gasps> there, done. Justin! Okay, I'm ready to find lots of dino bones. Nice. Let's get digging. Hold on, Sammy. If there's any dino bones down there, you don't want to break them by digging too fast with this big shovel. Let's use a small shovel instead and dig carefully. Good idea, Justin. Well, 